Why, hello there. It's me, Flo. I have not done a reading for y'all in a really long time because I've switched over to my Patreon, The Glowcast. Um, but I figured might as well just do a nice little general read for y'all because the moon is full in Scorpio. This, this lunation period, this like whole astrological period is all about me and my head because <laughs> I'm talking about shit. Because um, <laughs> my moon is in Taurus, my rising is in Taurus, my Venus is in Gemini. So figured I might as well whip it out. I just got the Amenti Oracle deck. I won it and I definitely wanted to show y'all and share some healing with y'all. So I'm just going to open up um, Reiki so that this is healing for y'all as well um, on multiple realms. So yeah, Reiki flow through my hands at this time. So I'm going to be sending Reiki through the decks that we're using today. And I'm going to point it at the screen eventually. And if it's not obvious already, I'm trying to do a little ASMR with my voice because I saw that video of Amanda Stenberg and... It did something to me. I was like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Ain't that the truth, baby. Ooh. So, good spirit, what does the collective need to know at this time? What does the collective need to know at this time to help us heal, to help us be kinder to one another, to help us grow? Of course, I have the herbal tarot here as well, my baby. So, what does the collective need to know at this time? So we got Ten of Wands, we got Ace of Cups, beautiful, we have Three of Wands, and we have I Embrace the All, I've been getting this card quite a lot. This is sweet. Mm -hmm. Send some clearing energy out here first before we get into anything. May all those who watch this video be cleared of any heavy, strenuous energies at this time. May there be health, wellness, and brightness. Cool. So, with the Ten of Wands, this is letting us know right now, we collectively are holding on to a lot. We're holding on to stress, we're holding on to anxieties, we're holding on to fears about our health, we're holding on to all of the emotional shit that's been happening aside from everything COVID related. But what's also happening in its own way is a huge outpouring of energy, of healing, of truth. And with the Ten of Wands, this is really an energy of explosion, of really like being tired, of being fed up with the bullshit, of kind of those moments when we're frustrated with ourselves and we're seeing all the things that we're doing wrong and the things that others are doing wrong, but how they're coinciding. And we're seeing hypocrisy, we're seeing um, our own shortcomings, we're seeing things that we've done in the past, we're seeing the moments where we hurt ourselves in the past and we're repeating mistakes. This is all of this crunch time energy that um, the full moon in Scorpio is bringing us right now, right? So this is really an energy of now or never. And with the Ace of Cups, this is letting us know that now is okay. Now is a safe time to move through all of these deep, murky emotions. Now is a safe time to be still in the knowing that as hard as moving through these emotions might be, as difficult as it might be to admit that we might have mental illness issues, that we might not feel safe at home, that we're afraid that we're not going to make it the next day, it is okay to express that. It is okay to work to transmute that so talking about this is literally talking about that i like pretty much the dichotomy between like scorpio and taurus e even though these are neither of the elements of these um of these signs taurus is more of the stable energy taurus is more of the energy of being present in the self being able to feel things fluidly um being aware of where we are internally and what we like what we need scorpio is <laughs> basically a fire sign in my opinion they're water fire signs but um scorpio is very much about the underworld death uh rebirth if you know a scorpio you know that they're always recharging they're always shedding a skin there's always a process happening within them but when they're focused they are determined they're getting it done so 
that's what's upset, upsetting a lot of you that you have a goal that you have things that you want to do that there are so many plans that you're still trying to cling on to from before this happened um ideas of yourself ideas of other people um and it's kind of like as everything is falling in this capitalist realm um there are certain illusions that we feel almost like if if this thing breaks down then i don't know who i am anymore if this thing breaks down i don't know what to do with myself anymore and it is so so important that we remember all we are as humans are choices and space all we are as humans are different vectors for decisions, for growth, for change. And if we're not changing, we're not alive, baby. And there is no one thing that defines all of your personhood. There is no one thing that defines every decision you could ever make. There is no one thing that can make you any less right so really being aware of that as you're shedding as you're releasing some of you are dealing with this the most in terms of um in terms of thinking like in terms of thinking of the future so the three of wands is honestly such a beautiful positive card is a card that reminds us that there is more to <laughs> to this dystopian fantasy that meets the eye um something that i really love about this card is that there is a ship ahead so as we're embarking forward thinking of all of the shit that we're dealing with right let's be frank thinking of all the shit that you're holding on to all of the things that you're carrying think of how lit it's gonna be when you get through it and you can have whatever you want so it's like let's put it into context of me right now right um this shit is hard. A bitch is struggling, honestly. But I know when I go back to St. Mark's, yo, and I go to Setagaya and I get me that bowl of ramen that I've been craving, it's all gonna be worth it. Throw me all the shadow work you want, B. As long as I get to be well, as long as, you know, we get to be well and heal and I get to that ramen, we're lit. You know what I mean? So think about the stress that you're dealing with, um in being around your family think about the fact that you keep having dreams about having a conversation with that family member or you keep having dreams about that ex you keep having reoccurring feelings about all of these situations and you know that on the other side of that is reconciliation with your family is bomb ass fucking cookouts is you know great sex with new people all of the things that you can get to and all of the peace that you can attain after moving through the uncomfortable parts. So again, this is Scorpio and Taurus. Taurus just wants to chill, just wants to be comfortable, doesn't want to deal with no bullshit, but you give them some, some, some candle warmers, you feel me? You give them a bowl of noodles and they might just do that thing, right? Scorpio does not like change, but Scorpio knows, one of the most beautiful things about Scorpio is that they know that they're not getting what they want unless they go to the underworld to fetch it themselves so although the ace of cups is really sweet and beautiful here you got to go to the underworld to get that healing and to bring up that love to bring up that clarity and peace so what i suggest for y'all is to definitely do some dream work um i really love doing dream work around the the period right before and right after the full moon um because everything is a lot stronger and our subconscious tides are more aligned with that whole thing so if you would like to if you have an amethyst crystal like this pretty baby or if you're like up there and you're doing this work all the time if you have an apophyllite if you have clear quartz even you can totally work with these crystals put them under your pillow at night um, and recite to yourself at least three times what it is that you're trying to get to the bottom to. If you've been having issues with your family, if you've been having issues with a partner, if you've been having issues with your fucking self and you're confusing yourself, um, Scorpio season is also, or lunar Scorpio season is a really powerful time for people's psychic senses to start going the fuck off. So if a lot is happening and you're not sure, say it to yourself before you go to sleep and it will be done. So... The beautiful card that we get here is I embrace all. There is no need to feel a division um, between who you've been, who this uh, quarantine is bringing out of you because it's all parts of you. Um, and it's really interesting too because Scorpio and Taurus are opposites, but they're two sides of the same coin. 
Um, so it's kind of like embracing the part of you that is drawn to the drama, that is excited by something new happening, that is excited to feel alive with all of this um, discomfort and fear. And then the part of you that is just like, I didn't ask for any of this shit. Both can coexist, but guess what? When they do that thing, excuse me, there's something new moving forward. As there's an all, as there are always circles and cycles in life, there's always a spiral so that we can keep going. So I'm gonna just read from the little guidebook because I love this deck. I don't I don't think y'all understand how fucking beautiful this deck is. Like I've never, I've never in all of my days. And we'll just read from the bottom too because I uh, living. I'm open to love in various forms. Hmm. So we're gonna get to that in a second. Cosmic consciousness is a consciousness of the life and order of the universe, which is possessed by few men at present. It is a further state of human evolution which will be reached by all humanity in the future. While at the present moment the various gradients of the collective consciousness tend to anthropomorphize the idea of the all as it, <laughs> the all that is as a being by embracing the idea of the of the all we can find relationship with our true being. The all of our individual reality is our poetry in motion, the allegory and the metaphor of our story within the history of the universe, becoming conscious of itself through its individual components, becoming conscious. So that's a mouthful, but basically this is us realizing ourselves. This is us becoming, um, to be honest, I feel like this season is really, it's really beautiful that uh, this quarantine is happening during this season because there are so many things us as hum like humans have to reflect on um, to be better stewards of this earth, to be in better harmony with our plant friends, with our four-legged and winged friends, um, and kind of recognizing that when we're struggling, when we're creating our own struggle, um, everybody struggles with us. And just because a lot of these beings can't really speak for themselves in ways that we immediately understand doesn't mean that it's not an immediate issue. So along with that, recognizing that there is a beauty in struggling together. There is a beauty in reaching out to a friend and saying, yo bitch, bitch I'm struggling. Can we have a talk? Can we get on a call? Can we do something? Um, and I feel like this is a really beautiful time for people to utilize those structures and those abilities. So, it was really lovely reading for you. If you would like a more specific reading for your sign or a personalized reading, you can totally book me via the link on my bio. On Mondays, I do sliding scale readings. And if you would like to be more involved in things that I'm not posting on Instagram, more so like essays, um, the Glowcast, which is an, astro uh, an astrology-based um, tarot read for each sign, um, definitely follow me on Patreon. And y'all have a really beautiful time. Be nice to yourselves, you know, do drugs responsibly if you're going to do them at all. And yeah, use your energy wisely. Mm-hmm. <laughs>